Hi, we're team five minutes from Carnegie Mellon University. Our team members are Ximu, Tao, Zuan, and Yufeng. Today, we would like to present our design intervention that addresses issues in remote workplace gratitude. Feeling valued is one of the most fundamental needs of humans, particularly in the workplace where mutual recognition plays a crucial role in healthy work relationships. Research shows that gratitude in the workplace, which primarily stems from appreciation between coworkers, not only increases people's job satisfaction, but also fosters team learning and promotes group well-being. When people work in the office, they can easily express their gratitude to their coworkers by handing them a cup of coffee or inviting them for lunch. These interactions are personalized, timely, and specific enough to deliver their emotions. Unfortunately, those simple but effective interactions are no longer an option when it comes to remote work. As COVID-19 pushes us to work from home, it has become particularly challenging to express and perceive gratitude during work due to the lack of face-to-face -face interactions. To solve this problem, we designed CoWork, a desktop IoT device that is connected to people's work communication app and lights up with a customized emoji when a thank you message is received from coworkers. By creating a multi-sensory experience that brings thank you messages beyond screens, we aim to make it more enjoyable for users to express and receive appreciation in a remote workplace, thereby promoting better work relationships. Here's an overview of our process. We started off by conducting primary and secondary research to investigate challenges in workspace gratitude. Then we synthesized insights from interviews and secondary research by creating affinity diagrams to draw out our patterns. In the ideation phase, we diverged to explore different idea directions by creating several storyboards and then collected the initial feedback from target users using the speed dating method. After settling down on one idea direction, we began rounds of prototyping, user testing, and iterating on our user feedback, which led us to the final design. So first step in our research is literature review. We learned that the communication of gratitude largely relies on visual and auditory cues that are better presented in a face-to-face -face interaction which made us consider alternative methods beyond text-based messages to bridge the gap that caused by the remote work. We conducted desktop research on existing products and features that target the realm of gratitude expression in workspace and teamwork settings. Hey Tackle, for instance, is a Slack integrated app that adopts the gamification to promote recognition and grateful expression among the team members. Yelp also has an internal system called Yelp Love. These existing products are great inspirations for our design. Meanwhile, we also recognize their limitations in remote work settings where all interactions are done over the computers. To understand how people express gratitude among coworkers, as well as associated problems in remote work settings, we conducted 10 semi-structured interviews with work from home practitioners using directed storytelling methods. After synthesizing the insights from participant stories, we found that without in-person interactions, text-based messages from the work communication platforms turns out to be less effective. People find it difficult to show their appreciation in a sincere and timely manner. People feel that they did not receive as much appreciation as they expected. These insights provided us some design opportunities that carried over to our ideation process. During the ideation phase, we first held a crazy eight session within the team and generated 32 ideas. After a round of discussion, we ranked the four most preferred ideas that could best tackle our target problem, while still being highly practical in real life. To gain some initial feedback from the potential users, we drew four storyboards and performed a speed dating session with 12 participants. After synthesizing the speed dating feedbacks, we finalized on one idea to solve the problem, which is the co-org concept. To test our design concept, we run Wizard of Oz testing sessions with eight target users using Thinkalog protocol. Each user completed two tasks during the test guided by one facilitator. During the first task, the user was asked to sit in front of a working computer 
and went through the experience of receiving an appreciation message via a physical orb next to the computer. Next, the user was asked to send out an appreciation message to one coworker in two different ways using the digital Figma prototype. Besides, the user was also encouraged to play around and navigate through the whole app. Upon completing, the facilitator followed up with some interview questions depending on the user's behavior during the test. We received a lot of positive feedbacks here. Many said they feel emotionally touched and would be more motivated to express gratitude to the coworker if they were to use the orb in their everyday work. However, the testing process also reviewed some blind spots in our design and indicated opportunities for improvement. To integrate users' feedback, we made several major iterations. First of all, a key piece of feedback we received was that adding a bit more personalization might make the lighting up experience more special and memorable. Based on this feedback, we added the function that allows users to pick an emoji when lighting up the orb. A fair number of users also mentioned that they wanted to collect the appreciation message they received. Some users pointed out that they hope co-op doesn't consume too much of their attention away from work. In the end, we we're able to incorporate most of the feedbacks into our final design. Here is an overview of our final design, which addresses the experience of both sender and receiver of an appreciation message. An appreciation message from the team communication platform will light up the user's orb with a customized emoji and the sender's name, inviting the user to touch. After touching the orb, the appreciation message will be read out, mimicking the experience of hearing it in person. All messages that come through CoOrb will be collected digitally and the user can review them on a separate web page. So sending an appreciation message to a coworker's co-orb is done through a plugin app embedded in work communication platforms. Once installed, the plugin app will automatically detect keywords associated with gratitude in the user's messaging threads and prompt the user to light up the recipient's co-orb when the keyword is detected. If the user wants to opt out of um, auto-detection due to privacy concerns, they can also utilize the dedicated chatbot, which will prompt users to send more appreciations to coworkers based on the frequency of their interactions. And here is a demo of our user flow of the final design. The product is enacted through Weasel of Arts methods using projection mapping. Thank you for helping me with creating the Figma components. With CoOrb, we believe that even the simplest gratitude message from your coworker could light up your day. CoOrb um, makes gratitude in remote work easier and better for everyone who is thriving to live a happier life under the pandemic. Thank you.